Well, hello, friends. Um, today I'm showing you this little snake game that I built here for Serenity uh, yesterday and uh, today. Um, and the game itself is quite simple and um, does exactly what you would expect. You collect the fruit, makes your snake grow longer. If you eat yourself, game starts over. And we got the little high score here down at the bottom. Um, now, making this game was um, a little bit um, of a discovery process. It, it made me discover that I have a lot of performance problems, um, especially with painting. And um, I put down three things I had to fix here um, for this to actually perform well enough to be uh, playable as a game. And the first thing was um, multiple rect invalidation. So now when I'm playing the game, it's only ever repainting the head of the snake and the tail of the snake um, on any um, iteration of the game, uh, except for when you eat a fruit or when the game starts over because you die. Um, and of course the, the score is repainted as well and it changes. Um, but the way that this was implemented previously is that um, every paint event that we would um, initiate in the client code would immediately tell the server, hey, I want to repaint this rectangle here. And uh, that would, um, in, the, in this case where I had like um, two or three um, separate rectangles that I wanted to repaint, um, I would very often end up with um, this sort of lag between them because like one of the paints um, would fire before another process got scheduled and then it would take like a split second before the second paint could get handled and there was like um, there was a disconnect between the, um, the paint uh, events and it looked quite bad. So, so that is working quite nicely now and the way that it does work is uh, that now uh, instead of sending one paint event at a time the um, clients will send uh, up to 32 rectangles per paint event um, or, or rather per invalidation and then the Windows server um, will um, like um, paint all of those rectangles in one uh, sweep instead of doing it piece by piece and updating the screen. So, so basically what we, what we do get here is uh, atomic updates up to 32 rects. Um, of course I could support an arbitrary number of rects but right now the number is 32 because then I didn't have to do any dynamic uh, messaging uh, between the client and server. Um, so, so that's pretty cool. Now we can invalidate and paint multiple rects. And then uh, Windows Server paint coalescing is another thing that I did, which is that um, on the, in the Windows Server site now, um, we will uh, gather up all of the invalidations that we receive from the client and um, figure out like what's the smallest set of unique rectangles in this merged set of uh, rectangles. And um, that allows us to do then like the minimum amount of um, painting with zero overdraw, hopefully. And you might, you might think that this is overkill for a, a game like Snake, and it probably is, but I figured I might as well do this now, and then I don't have to uh, do it later. Um, so, so that's working now. Um, and that's, that's another nice improvement here. Um, and uh, the final thing that I did was I discovered that um, the game would sometimes stutter, or, or quite often stutter. And it turned out that what was happening was that um, the kernel idle process was running. Uh, and the kernel idle process, I'll show you, um, it's this guy uh, who is not even visible here. Uh, it's, it's this thing called a kernel process. And it's essentially, it's just this process that gets scheduled whenever nobody else wants to run. And um, it's hidden here because I, I, I just decided to hide it earlier today, but it's essentially it's the process that's running when nobody else wants to run. Um, and the way that it was previously working is that whenever the idle process would get scheduled, it would run for um, five timer ticks because that was the lowest priority um, number of timer ticks. And that makes no sense because it means that um, if the idle process is scheduled 
and some interrupt comes in that makes us uh, want to do something and makes us want to unblock some process, um, we will still uh, run the uh, idle process until uh, it completes all of its timer checks. So that was sort of causing us to stutter sometimes when the timer was supposed to fire um, to update the game, but we would have to wait for the idle process to finish his um, five millisecond time slice. So now the um, idle process only gets a one millisecond time slice, which means that um, it can only hog the um, scheduler for a one millisecond before somebody else gets a chance to run. So of course, the scheduler in Serenity is, is quite uh, simplistic and, and very naive, but um, it's not something that I'm super um, interested in, in like improving right now other than like making this sort of um, big fix like this for an obvious glaring problem um, because I think that the simple scheduler works well for my needs at the moment and maybe it changes in the future and, and I'll look at it again but yeah so that's that and of course then there's a fourth thing that I forgot to mention here it's that uh, double buffering off um, so, normally in Serenity, all of these windows are double buffered, which means that um, whenever a process is painting itself, then it's painting into um, a bitmap that's not visible on screen, and then when it's finished painting, it tells the Windows server, like, hey, now, show this bitmap on screen. Um, but in the game here, there's no need to do that because we are micromanaging um, the rectangles that we want to invalidate anyway and uh, we basically uh, we don't we don't need this auto magical thing and that actually gives us a nice little performance boost as well because it means that we no longer have to keep the buffers um, synchronized with each other because there's only a single buffer and we can almost imperatively draw into it um, so yeah, so that's, that's my little snake game. Of course, um, you are eating vegetables here. I, uh, I drew a, a couple of different veggies. Um, and get a lot of eggplants. A lot of eggplants. Oh jeez, you stuck? No, it was a cauliflower. And a cauliflower. And a paprika up there. Or pepper, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, so that's just a quick little video to talk about that. So. Um, I thank you for watching, and uh, if you have any questions or anything that you would like me to talk about or, or to show in a video, then, then please leave a comment and um, I'll see if I can get around to it. Alright, uh, thanks for watching.